you're thinking about growing your business, one of the best ways you can do it is by creating strategic partnerships, strategic alliances, and referral partners. There are a lot of different takes on what these different phrases and words mean, but my concept that I'm talking to you about today is about thinking bigger and about partnering with other companies and individuals where you can offer bigger solutions, better solutions, or maybe to a wider audience. So when you get started on this, you need to make a list. And I think that's a good place to start is to think about if you could work with anybody in your company, your organization could partner up with any other organization or individual, who would it be? And really get out there, really think about, you know, an unlikely source, for example, a competitor. Have you ever thought about that? Most people would just be pushed away by that idea. I call competitors industry counterparts. And when you think about it that way, and think about what could someone else bring to the table that would give us a even bigger offering. And maybe there's a very small way you could partner. Another way to think about alliances is to think about a company or individual that you really respect and admire. Maybe someone that is a bit out there that you just don't know if you could even approach them. Put them on your list and come up with a wide list of I don't know, 20 or 30 different companies and individuals. And from there, you can think about how you would approach these people and companies in terms of the partnerships that would create a win for both sides. So just because I want to work with your company, it doesn't mean that there's any value in it for you to work with me. I need to be thinking about what would be a win for you that would also benefit me. And then when we have a customer that will also win, it's just a, a very successful endeavor to do. And it really is one of the fastest and easiest ways that you can grow your revenues in your company. So think about that list, the creative list, no holds barred, there's no wrong answer. It's like a brainstorming to find your creative alliances that you could potentially partner with. And even if you don't end up partnering with some of these companies, you may come up with some really innovative ideas for your own in terms of services and products that you can add. So there's no downside to doing this exercise. And once you do it, you can next determine how you will move forward in terms of actually working with different companies and having a wider net and bigger opportunities out there for you and your company.